Make a DAO is exactly what it sounds like. It's a DAO, or a decentralized autonomous organization, and its purpose is to make DAI. DAI is a digital dollar backed by locked up crypto assets like ETH, BAT, WBTC, KNC, and more. And what Maker figured out years ahead of the explosive rise of DeFi is that a stable coin could be established by incentivizing locking up more value in what was once called a CDP or a collateralized debt position. Now today, CDPs are called vaults. But if you think about it, a stable coin is normally backed by dollars. But in crypto, we have these hugely volatile assets. So how do you do it? Well, here's how it works. Say I own ETH and I believe the value of ETH will continue to rise over time. Now I don't sell ETH because I believe it's a store of value like BTC or gold. But if I can borrow against the value of ETH in DAI, then I can have the best of both worlds. I can remain exposed to the upside of ETH long term while spending less of that value in the short term with DAI. While I've minted or borrowed that DAI, I pay an interest rate just like you would borrowing from a bank, but it's all automated by the code in Maker. In MakerDAO, you can deposit and lock up your ETH as well as other popular liquid crypto assets. And in exchange, you can borrow up to 66% of every dollar you deposit. And this means if you deposit $100 worth of ETH, you can borrow up to 66 DAI, but the code ensures I keep my word of maintaining that loan or else I will be liquidated by Maker. If I don't hold up my end of the bargain, my ETH is then auctioned to others in the Maker community willing to buy it so that Maker can remain solvent and pay back my owed debt. And the key takeaway here is, MakerDAO remains one of the most successful DeFi projects built on Ethereum with just under $200 billion in TVL, while nearly 900 million DAI have been minted to date. Unlike your fiat, DAI is digitally scarce and it's traceable on the Ethereum blockchain. But because MakerDAO uses game theory to incentivize borrowers to lock up their valued collateral in exchange for an over-collateralized digital dollar, DAI has effectively become one of the most trusted, trustless digital forms of money. Despite the volatile markets over the last few years, including a 95% drawdown in the price of ETH from all-time highs, DAI's peg to the US dollar held. And that's a testament to some of the best incentive design in the DeFi game. You've been watching DeFi 101. Do be sure and check out the other videos in the series and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the new videos as they drop. And above all, stay safe out there.